Hi guys, happy Wednesday. So every Wednesday, uh, Tiffany with Nature's Gift and myself, Danette Penrod with Wellness Spoiled, um, we come to you for Ask an Advocate. And so this is a time for you to join us and ask whatever questions you might have. Um, Tiff was unable to join us this week, so I'm going to be covering um, some stress-reducing tips because today is National Stress Awareness Day. A little ironic, probably, with what's going on right now <laughs> uh, with the election, with uh, COVID, with all of the things. Um, maybe it's appropriate that today is National Stress Awareness Day. So I'm gonna just dive right in and uh, get going. If you have any questions at all, whether it's related to this or otherwise, feel free to drop them in the comments and Tiffany or I will answer. And if you have a topic that you would like for us to cover, we would love to hear your suggestions as well. Um, this is really our time to meet you where you're at and to really provide value to you. So we really want to make sure that we're um, hitting key points that of that are of interest to you. So anyway, I'm gonna share my screen and uh, we're gonna go over these five tips. Let me hide that. So these are really simple things that you guys already know about. Um, they don't cost you a dime, at least providing that you have uh, some sort of herbal tea in your home, but I just wanna cover them quickly um, just to put them in your thoughts. So one of the best things that we can do is to take time to breathe. So often whenever we feel stressed, our emotions are high, we, our pulse goes up, our blood pressure goes up, our, you know, we can start sweating and all sorts of things. So um, that can lead to headaches and all sorts of stuff. So if we just take a moment and take two minutes to breathe, um, there's a technique uh, labeled 478, and that is simply breathing through your nose. You want to inhale for four seconds, you want to hold it for seven seconds, and then you'll exhale for eight seconds. You do want to do this at least three times. Be very focused, be very mindful of your breath work, and this will help to calm you almost immediately. Um, so I mentioned tea. If you have herbal tea, this is fantastic and scientifically proven to balance our mood and minimize stress. So pretty easy. If you're not a tea drinker, skip this one. Use something else. Don't use alcohol, though, because that will exacerbate your issue. Um, another thing is just getting outside in the fresh air. I mean, sunshine, vitamin D, that's all awesome. It also helps us to get our bodies moving and give us just a little bit of a break, especially if we're sitting behind a computer. And, uh, you know, we just we have a tendency to not give ourselves permission to take those breaks. And so it's super important to take those breaks. And if at all possible, if the weather is nice, get outside, even if it's just for a couple minutes. Another thing is meditation. This doesn't have to be scary. This can just be very simple. Um, 10 minutes in the morning, preferably, so that you are um, setting your intentions for the day and starting your day off in a positive light. So one way that you can do this is to pick a time where you are not bothered and Pick a consistent time and place because we have memory that's associated with our day-to-day -day activities. And so if we can pick a time and a place that is beneficial for us as a, as a you know, kind of a muscle memory for um, what we are about to embark upon, during that time, then that will help us to, um, as we, you know, make it a habit, a daily habit to do it. Um, and then the last thing is a hand massage. So obviously better if you have someone to give you a hand massage, but if you don't, and I do this frequently, I give myself hand massages. So it is super easy. Um, I have a little uh, card, 
and this is just the front of the card. So we will put this in the comments. Um, but basically, let me let me unshare this. So you can see me. So basically, you just want to you're going to take the back of your hand, you're going to go from up here all the way down, you're going to do that uh, three times, then you want to flip it over. And you'll be um, pulling down to your pinky pulling down to your fingers, okay, to the tips of the fingers, you want to do each of those three times, and then you want to come into the meat into the webbing of your hand and do that. So those are the five tips to de-stress naturally that don't cost you a dime. And of course, since uh, Tiffany and I are essential oil educators, we want to share our um, tips with you on de-stressing using essential oils. Hand massage, my favorite one to use specifically for the hand massage is doTERRA's Aroma Touch. Not that you guys can read this. Um, if you have a little bit of fractionated coconut oil, um, you don't need much because your hand is not that big, but I would use some either some fractionated, fractionated coconut oil or some unscented lotion, just a little bit, just to help you uh, with smoothing it around. Um, and then I'm gonna read you a protocol. This is from the Advanced Oil Magic Book. And this is a stress protocol. And so the description is that it increases a general calming state due to the interaction of oils and neurotransmitters. And the suggested duration for this is four to eight weeks. And what you wanna do is you're gonna to try to get on top of whatever your stressful situation is first. So it's just gonna take some consistent action and then after that, you will just use these as needed. So you might still want to use them every day because they're awesome. So the first one is uh, adaptive, which is the calming blend. So it says to apply to the webs of the hands and the base of the skull and then to, to diffuse it throughout the day. Then you want to use the adaptive uh, supplement, which is the calming complex. You want to take one to two a day. I highly recommend that you do this in the morning. Um, while some people have fantastic results in taking it in the evening and it helping to promote a good night's sleep, I have another suggestion for you for that if that's what you're um, seeking. But I have actually had some people who, they, if they take it anywhere in the afternoon from like noon on, um, they get insomnia. So my suggestion is that you take it in the morning because we're not gonna really need it at night anyway. Hopefully the other tips that I'm gonna give you are gonna help calm you enough that you'll be able to have a restful night's sleep and you won't need the calming blend in the evening, but instead you can use something else. So, and I'll tell you in just a second. So then the grounding blend, which is doTERRA's balance, um, this is fantastic to start your day with. Um, in this protocol, it's actually recommended to apply one to two drops to your temples um, during a 10 minute daily meditation. So this goes hand in hand with what we talked about with meditation and doing that daily and in the morning preferably because that's to help set your intention. So the grounding blend will just help to lock those in and we have memories that are associated with aromas. So again, just like how you pick a specific time and a specific place to do your meditation, picking a specific oil and incorporating that will also help your brain to really focus in during that time, okay? So I have actually never tried it on my temples. This is not a way that I had thought to ever use it until I just read this protocol. Um, I do uh, the, the balance on the bottom of my feet every morning. So as part of my morning ritual and getting ready, on I actually put it in a roller bottle so I can just roll it on the bridge of my uh, one foot and on my big toe. And then I just rub my the bridges of my feet together and then rub my big toes together. And um, that's how I just start my day. And then the last um, bit of this protocol, and we'll post this in the um, 
comments as well, is to take uh, two of the Serenity Restful Complex um, soft gels uh, about 30 minutes before you go to bed. So just as a note, essential oils um, and like the Restful Complex does not make you sleepy. It's not like it's going to make you groggy or anything like that. What it does is it calms and slows the mind. So if you are not a pill popper or you don't have the serenity um, complex, but you have the oil, you can do a couple things with the oil. So number one, you can apply one drop to the bottom of your big toe. This is what I do and I love it. It works fantastic for me. It allows me to fall asleep in about five minutes or less. And I pre pre oils, it would take me 45 minutes to an hour. So I truly believe in the power of this really calming, helping to calm the mind. Um, also, it, you can sprinkle it on your linens, on your pillow, or you can diffuse it. So that's a, just a couple different ways that you can use it. Um, and then there are just a few more oils um, for additional support. Um, says rose, Roman chamomile, black spruce, and sandalwood. So black spruce is um, actually, you can get it for 10% off this month. Last month was 15% off rose, so I don't know if you got to score that or not, but how cool is it that these oils, and we talked about rose being great for our skin, but it's also very calming. So multi-purpose, right? These oils are multi-purpose and can help us in so many ways. Um, oh, and, you know, we talked about the last several weeks, we talked about um, the holiday items. Those went on sale starting Monday. A couple of them are already sold out and there's several more that are on their way to being sold out. But on December 1st, um, there will be a Serenity Linen Spray. So if you want to get that, that I was able to snag one last year, and I absolutely love it. It's great for not just bedding, but um, towels. So if you have little ones and they're, they take baths in the evening, just spritz your um, Serenity Linen Spray on the towel and then wrap them up in it and give them some loving. So um, that's really all I had for you guys today. So we'll get some stuff posted in the comments so that you have some takeaways from this. I hope that this was helpful for you and um, just breathe today. You know, know that we can't control the outcome of what's going to happen and um, to just find the positive. Either way, either party, we're all, I think, wanting uh, peace for our nation and healing in our nation. So let's just all come together, regardless of the outcome, and be positive, okay? So I hope you have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next time.